So the new RB Pro X's, are they any good? Let's find out in this video, guys. All right, so these are gonna be my first urban type skates. Um, these, I'm coming from more of a background of uh, speed skating. Uh, recently I had just like a tri setup, uh, 11 point six inch speed skate setup, um, which is super fun, uh, super fast, but I wanted something um, with a little bit more ankle stability because they're low cut uh, speed boots. And so they're not really that great for like super quick maneuverability, uh, you know, stability in the, like the urban setting. Um, and so I wanted something, you know, for trails trails and stuff like that. So I wanted something a little bit more maneuverable and something that's a little bit more tough and a little bit more supportive. And I wanted something that wasn't too expensive either because these are about only about 230 bucks is what I paid for these. And I figured this is like the best value for the money. Um, I did a lot of research um, and I almost went with the Twister uh, X, the Twister 3 by 110 setup, the Twister Edge. Um, but what I found is that with these, um, you actually have a, a lower cut in the back here in comparison to the twisters and the front support, ankle support here, uh, doesn't go all the way through here. So basically with the twister, it's all plastic all throughout the whole entire thing and it has a higher back. So what that's going to do is the twister is going to give you more supports and it's going to give you much more stability basically. But with these, since it's lower cut and there's less support in the front, you're gonna have a lot better maneuverability for, uh, you know, kind of like getting in and out of stuff and like also for like speed because you can maneuver your ankle better. So I wanted something like that. And also, um, and so I, basically it's a lower cut boot, uh, plastic boot. And so I wanted that. And uh, also, since I already had a three by uh, 110 setup skate, I wanted to try something with a little bit smaller wheels. Um, and so I went with these, these have the 80s. And um, I was kind of skeptical coming from 110s to these um, in regards to, uh, you know, smoothness on pavement and stuff. And yeah, you do lose a little bit of that smoothness because with a smaller wheel, you're not gonna have as much, like uh, you're not gonna be able to get over as, you know, everything, you're gonna feel everything on the roads a lot more than with a bigger wheel. But at the cost with these smaller wheels is that transitioning between, you know, tricks and moves and being able to maneuver, you definitely have way more increasedness than that. So if you're in the city and you're trying to get around people or you're trying to move, um, you know, around stoplights and things like that, you can easily move and maneuver in these really well in comparison to like a, uh, the, the wider 11 inch, 11.6 inch frame with the 110 wheel. So, uh, you know, flipping from going backwards to forwards a lot easier, turning sharper with these, you're definitely going to get and uh, they do do well for speed too. They do pretty well. Um, I like to think of it as like, basically when you have a smaller wheel, shorter frame, you're in like a higher gear on like a bike. So like if you're in a bicycle and like you put it in like first gear and you're pedaling really fast, but it's really easy to get up hills and stuff. That's like what a smaller wheel, shorter frame setup is like. Now if you have a longer frame, bigger wheel, then you're in like a higher gear. So it's like a little bit harder to get that acceleration. But once you, you have way more speed and it's a lot smoother. So they both have their place. And um, so, but these, these are amazing. I've tried these out. Um, I've been riding these now, I gave them a couple of rides. And I'll tell you what, I really like these a lot. Um, they have the, I believe it's the ILQ7 bearing, which is a really good bearing. It's got replaceable frames, so you can swap frames. So if you ever wanna go to like a big wheel setup with a longer frame, that's a possibility. Um, and uh, yeah, you can uh, change out the wheels, the frames. Um, for 230 bucks, it's like, wow, that's a pretty good deal. And I'm really glad that I went with these things. They just look super clean too. I mean, just look at that. It's a very unique looking kind of skate. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I really like them. Um, I'm gonna uh, film some of me skating on them. So uh, that's basically it with the specs. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions for me about these things, uh, go ahead and post them below. So I just wanted to show you what I was coming from. These are what I came from. So as you can see, it's a longer wheel frame. The frame itself is longer. So you're gonna get a bigger stride and more speed and the wheels are bigger. So you're gonna have uh, more speed and it's gonna be a little smoother. But at the cost with these, you're gonna have much better maneuverability. Your turning rate is gonna be a lot easier and smoother and quicker. And your acceleration is gonna be a little bit quicker as well. 
So they both have their place with these. Um, you can see the low butt, low, super low boot cut. And so what that allows you to do is it allows you to twist, like um, push off with your ankle a little better to get a full range of motion, but at the cost of support. So with these, you have a lot more support. Um, but man, these are fun. To, these are really fun to skate with though. If you haven't tried like a bigger wheel setup, a uh, wide, longer frame. Um, so yeah, guys, that's um, the basic rundown. Um, the liners are cool. Um, everything is really smooth. I have a nice tight fit and I'm really, really um, happy with these, to be honest. And so, yeah, enjoy the footage. I'm gonna show you guys some of me skating on them and I'll kind of touch on some stuff from there. So yeah guys, very overall good maneuverable skate. Like I'm really excited about these. These are like super comfortable, nice tight, snug fit. Um, they roll extremely smooth. And for the price point, you can't really beat it. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would have be happier with anything else at this point. Um, because if I want to, I can always swap out to a three by 110 setup or a three by 125 setup. Um, and uh, yeah, the nice low cut boot uh, enables you to move around. Now, if you're not super advanced, you might want that higher cut boot, like the twister edge boot, because you have more stability, but I really like these. Um, you can, uh, if you, you know, I have mine, so you can lace all the way up to the top here, which will give you more stability if that's something you really want. Um, but I like having that freedom of ankle mobility, but I am a little bit more advanced. I'm not extremely advanced, but I do have some experience. So, but yeah, guys, uh, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about these skates uh, that I could probably answer, uh, go ahead and just drop a comment and uh, we'll get to it. Thanks. See you later, guys.